left of us is where the river used to flow because the river had an inlet known as the pool of liverpool which used to flow just along here on the left this was a tidal inlet uh, and it's probably where the pool bit of the name liverpool comes from the liver bit we're not so certain on uh, although it's possibly an old English word meaning dirty, which means Liverpool would translate as the dirty pool. Uh, it also could be the Welsh word for seaweed, the lava, the pool of the lava, the lava pool. Um, and in which case, that's a little bit nicer, seaweed pool, isn't it? You know, a little bit better. Um, but yeah, nobody really knows, but it was just here to the left of us. So the original people of Liverpool were around that particular pool. So they were fishermen, and they would have been Lancashire men. Now, even though there is a little bit of the Lancashire accent in the Liverpool accent, it's quite a lot different. Um, and this is because of massive immigration into this particular area due to it being a massive dock, of course. Now, the Lancashire accent is a little bit like, Hey, up, how you diddling? You know, that type of voice. Uh, have we got any Lancashire people on board who can confirm that I've just done a perfect <laughs> Lancashire accent? No, no, none at all. It's like, um, you know, when I'm cleaning windows, that type of voice. Now, we don't sound like that anymore, mainly because of Irish people who came into the city. So lots and lots of Irish people came in. Uh, this mixed with that Lancashire accent. And then, of course, lots of Welsh people came in as well. Do we have any Welsh people on board? Not even any Welsh people. Okay, so the Welsh people came in great numbers into Liverpool. And there is a sort of thing we do when we make a K sound where we can't help going... <laughs> You might have heard us doing it, like say uh, Colin downstairs might become Colin in some places. Uh, or we've got another driver called Mark who becomes Mark whenever anyone's getting over excited. Uh, so thanks to the Welsh, the people of Liverpool sound like they're slowly turning into dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, don't stand too close to us is all I can say. Uh, but yeah, basically Liverpool is a city built up of outside influences. It's a very in some ways on english english city uh, that doesn't mean we're an anti-english city it just means that the influences on the city have come from elsewhere even the fact that we are known as scousers here in liverpool is due to an outside influence because lots of scandinavians came into liverpool and they brought with them a dish called lobscouse which is a stew made from potatoes carrots and whatever meat you can get hold of served it with cooked beetroot or red cabbage it became a very popular dish in the city almost straight away and it's still a very popular dish to this day. We like to abbreviate everything here in Liverpool. So instead of calling it Lobscouse, we just called it Scouse. And the popularity of that dish led to us being known as Scousers. So we are named after a Scandinavian stew, basically. I don't know whether you knew that, but you know it now. There are many places around town that you can get yourselves a bowl of Scouse. And Colin, your driver, has a pan of Scouse on in the house at the moment and said that anyone is welcome back to his later for a bowl of it. <laughs> so please take him up on this offer. It's a wonderful offer. <laughs> so this is Liverpool 1 just in front of us. Uh, now we're heading out of the city centre, so we're not going that way. But, well, we couldn't go that way anyway right now because it's pedestrianised. But, you know, usually a city tour would take it out that way. And that is where the Cavern Club is. So the Cavern Club is about five minutes in front of us. Now the Cavern Club, if you're wondering what I'm talking about, uh, is a club synonymous with the Beatles because it is where they played 292 times an extremely important place in the history of rock and roll and it's on Matthew Street which is as I say about five minutes in front of us there now the Cavern Club is five pounds to enter and there's live music all day long as well so you should go in the Cavern Club at one point uh, now I take it a lot of you are not from the UK, am I right saying that? Yes. I was looking at the names list, you may well be from the UK, you may have lived here for many years, but um, yeah, basically there's a statue just outside the Cavern Club, which is of a lady. Now most people outside of the UK don't know who this woman is, she was a singer from Liverpool called Scylla Black, and that singer was managed by the same manager as the Beatles, Brian Epstein. Uh, he also managed Jerry and the Pacemakers as well, so he was quite a big name back in the 1960s, as was she in Britain, but just not elsewhere really. So if you're wondering who she is, she was a big name singer. She's also a television presenter. Um, the reason she's outside the cabin is not just because she used to sing in there, because she did used to do that as well, but she was also the cloakroom attendant. Now I think you'll find that most nightclubs have a statue of their cloakroom attendant outside. <laughs> 